What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking modern fence in Revit. I saw this picture online and I thought it looked very cool so why not recreate it in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay so this looks like a cool fancy fence and I already did one fence tutorial this week but that was more of a baluster uh, editing tutorial and here we're going to be uh, editing these railings as well to make them look like this thick and quite cool and luxurious and here uh, if, I, if I go over here you can see I've got a little diagram a little sketch that I created and this just helps me uh, model my uh, my fence. So we've going, we're going to be having these kind of a uh, vertical elements as railings and then we're going to be having these concrete or brick uh, balusters at some, at some intervals and here I've marked heights for all of the rails so we've got all of the, the exact heights and here I've got some dimensions for all of these railings. So it's always good to kind of sketch things out a bit so you know that you're not starting with or the, the, the bottom rail is not at zero, it's actually at 15 centimeters so it's so it just barely touches the ground over here. Okay but anyway once we have a sketch like this now we can start modeling this in Revit. And let me minimize this and let's use the architectural template for this project. Wait for a second to open. Okay, and let's set the units to centimeters because uh, that's what I drew this, this sketch in. And let's just place a simple rail over here. So let's just go railing, sketch path, and let's just place a simple rail like this and finish editing, go into 3D, and this is what we get. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit, select it, and now let's Let's see, so here we have, this is a baluster type fence, so, or it's predominantly it has balusters, so that's, that was a starting point for the last tutorial, but here we need more of a, uh, this pipe railings, so we need more of these rails, so that's why I'm going to choose this pipe railing, and I'm just going to go into edit type and duplicate this rail, so let's just call it new fence, and here I'm just going to go into rail structure and if you open this up you can see this is what we get. So we've got all of our railing over here and now we need to start editing. So first let's just copy these numbers here, let me minimize this, maybe move it aside so we've got our sketch over here. So here this will be 15, 52, uh, 89, is it? Yeah, 89 and 126 for rail 1 or the tallest one. So let's start. So this is 15, this is 52, sorry, 52, this is 89 and this is, was it 126? Yeah, 126. And the reason for that is, okay this is higher than the railing uh, the, than the whole rail so it doesn't allow me to do this so let me just set this at 90 and go apply okay and let me just go over here to this and for the height let's see here we have the height the, the actual height of this is 126 so don't look at this 171 this is the height of the baluster but the height of the railing it should be at 126 so let's just uh, leave it at that so let's type in here 126 and let's just uncheck this perhaps so we don't need the the whole top rail so let's go back in here and now we can set this to 126 and just go apply okay okay and this is the this is the fence we get okay so now we need to do some more editing and first we need to create that profile so this is the profile it's as you can see here it's 30 millimeters 30 centimeters high and for this width let's just use I don't know 7 so let's just go here to file new family and let's just step back and use the English metric that's just what I prefer but you can use Imperial as well and let's go here to metric generic profile let's see okay metric profile and just select it and go here to line 
rectangle and let's just place a rectangle over here so this is in uh, millimeters now so this should be at 150 and this should be then at 300 and the width let's do 35 here and 70 here okay so we've got this profile set up and let's just load it into the project it's called family one I guess and let's just go into 3D, select this, and go here into edit type. So here I'm just going to change this to that new family. So let's just go family 1, family 1, family 1. And for the material, I would like to use some aluminum. So let's just select this aluminum material. And now here you can just control C to copy and then control V just to paste. So you don't have to actually go into the material editor. Okay, so once this is finished, make sure that the offset is at zero, just go apply, okay, apply, and now it changed the whole railing, and as you can see now the balusters are looking kind of weird, and we need to create our own balusters, and here for the baluster placement, this is where, okay, this is, nope, for the, this is the baluster placing, this is the rail structure, sorry. So here we can change the balusters, but first we need to create our own, so th it's this kind of a massive balusters so to do that again go to file new and again we need to create a new family and let's just again jump back into english metric and let's see here we have a metric baluster or you can use this baluster post it doesn't really matter let's just use baluster post and over here we can see this is the this is the baluster height and here we can actually change this so Let's just change it at 126, that's the height of our railing at the, at the moment. And let's add a zero because it's in millimeters, apply. Yeah. So this is what we get. And now let's go into create, extrusion. And before we do that, let's go into reference level. Okay, extrusion, rectangle, and let's place a rectangle like this. Maybe go into thin lines. And then this should be at 200 this should be at 400 it's a 40 by 40 centimeter uh, rectangle for this so this is 200 and this is at 400 okay so once you've got this you just go back into front and if you can't see anything you just go ZA for zoom all and then you can see it and you just kind of place it like this and for the extrusion and if we go here to this image the extrusion and is at this is at 171, but we've got this little element on top, which is, let's say, 4 centimeters. So this is at 167, if, I'm, if my math is right. So you type that in here, 167, and you add a zero because it's in millimeters instead of centimeters, and you're finished. And now you just go here into Edit, and let's just make this a brick material. So just type in brick. Let's see and let's use this maybe this common brick I don't know go apply okay and once this is done now you need to constrain it so you go here to align dimension and you constrain this whole thing and you just uh, kinda this here you lock it in place and now you go back into reference level and you create another rectangle so extrusion rectangle and let's give it an offset of four centimeters oops this is four millimeters so 40 yeah, kind of like this, and you just go finish, and you go back into front elevation, and it's all the way over here, so you kind of extrude it up, lock it in place to this bottom, and then you make sure that this is at around 4 centimeters, so, if, so this should be at 171 plus 10, okay, and now let's lock it in place with another dimension, so you just kind of constrain it like this, lock it in place. And this should be some concrete material, so let's just type in concrete, let's see, uh, lightweight, yeah, let's, uh, this is just some bricks, okay, this looks nice, load it in, apply, okay, so we've got some concrete over here. Okay, so now if we just go into 3D, and let's see this as realistic okay this looks nice so let's just load it into the project so load into project project one okay and you just go into 3d so we select our railing and we go into edit type and for the baluster placement let's just go over here and let's see here's our family two 
and the top should be uh, at rail 1 and then for the distance from previous let's do something larger like 300 so that's 3 meters and you select this family you go control C and then you can kinda place it over here just because it's kinda easier to paste it instead of searching for it and for this space I like to do half of the uh, baluster so it, if it was uh, 40 I should just change this to 20 and here to minus 20 and just go apply okay apply okay and as you can see here it's a bit thin it starts from uh, rail 1 so let's fix that so you go in here into edit and let's see so the base offset let's see okay base is host let's try rail 4 with offset of minus 15 apply okay apply has this fixed it? No, it hasn't. Let's see again. So, let's see. Okay, we can do host, minus 15, apply, okay, apply. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, a, uh, another way to fix this is to just go to the family. So, let's see. Where's our 3D? Okay, this is the family. So, just go to front. And here you can just extend it downward a bit and let's just create a dimension over here so this should be at minus 15 or no minus 3 actually or 300 yeah 300 because it's in centimeters or this is in millimeters okay and let's just constrain it over here load it into project project one and then just override and let's see when we go into 3d okay now it looks perfect and if we just go here into realistic this is what we get so this is our kind of a uh, it looks kind of a modern fancy fence for going around your fancy new villa okay so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day